Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So if you're like me and you don't use Creator Companion, then you're able to download the VRChat SDK and put it in your Unity project by default or how you used to do that. So with the new SDK, we received a stretch bones and squish bones. Let me just show you roughly how they work and how do they look like. So once you have the latest SDK, we're going to find, you're going to go over and find your bones and right here on the right side, you're gonna see them. Now, before I start going any further, I will have to say that it does take a lot of tinkering and a lot of playing around in Unity. Usually you would go to play mode and then you would tinker with bones until you get your settings right. There's no actually uh, default settings for default things. So if you're looking for a specific thing, you're just gonna have to play with these until you get the right thing. However, if we scroll over down, Right here, you see stretch motion and you also see max squish. Now, what is stretch motion? Think of like an accordion when you're extending it and basically retracting it. You can basically now add that to your physic bones. So if you're moving around, let's say if you put it on your body or if you attach it to your tail, your tail is actually going to stretch and basically stay a little bit behind and it's basically going to slowly come back to your body. So basically like an accordion just on physic bones. In my case, I leave it to 0.7, but you can put it to you can set it to 1 and then see how that looks like in the play mode. Max squish is pretty self-explanatory. Think of it as if you have a ball of gelatin and you basically squish or basically press down on that gelatin. That is basically the same effect that you get with, but now in this case, it's with your bones. You can play around with that as well. I don't think you can have the stretch motion and max squish on the same physic bone, but again, play around with it and get to know the bones and just tinker with them. I highly recommend you to do that. And of course, if you want to be safe, you can create a copy of your avatar and then just re-upload that avatar constantly by default so you play around with your bones. Another quick thing I would like to mention, uh, when you're stretching the bones of your avatar, you can actually make that infinite number now. So before max stretch used to be only at five. However, now you're able to go above five. So you're able to do some really silly and really funny things. Do keep in mind, be careful with how you use this because it may break or may it look odd to some other people in VRChat. Hopefully that covers everything. If you have any more questions or video suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you around. Peace.